Veteran NASA engineers call it their seven minutes of terror. This afternoon, the spacecraft named Perseverance begins its final fiery descent, traveling at 12,000 miles per hour as it breaks through the thin Martian atmosphere. Deploying the biggest supersonic parachutes ever made. Then, using new imaging technology, it will guide itself towards the Martian landing zone, where a sky crane will gently lower the rover to the ground. There are many things that have to go right to get Perseverance onto the ground safely. The target, an area called the Jezero Crater, right there. A dry lake bed about the size of Lake Tahoe, three to four billion years old. Selected because buried in the delta may be the best evidence of ancient microbial life. Did that ancient life adapt as life on Earth has? And is it somewhere underneath the surface, hiding from the radiation, hiding from the stark low pressure of Mars atmosphere? To find out, NASA has sent Perseverance, its most sophisticated rover yet, loaded down with microphones so humans can listen to the Martian surface. Cameras, imagers, radar, spectrometers, and drills. Perseverance will drill into the Martian rock and soil, collecting samples in dozens of sterile tubes to be brought back to Earth in 10 years or so, helping to plot the rover's precise location and coordinate its live data feeds, engineer Farah Alibay. I always say to people, I'm an explorer through the eyes of a rover, right? Like from my home and the comfort of Southern California weather, I get to be on Mars every day. One of the coolest features of the mission, a four pound mini helicopter, a drone really, named Ingenuity, that will take off and skim the Martian surface, photographing the terrain. But flying in an atmosphere that's only 1% of Earth's atmosphere, engineers had to develop a special twin rotor system that could provide the necessary lift. Pilot Mimi Ong calls it a Wright Brothers moment for Mars. It really uh, will be phenomenal. Is it technical, uh, technically a you know first time event, but definitely for human beings a historical moment because we're going to fly on another planet. And to pave the way for future human missions to Mars, the rover is carrying a science experiment to turn the carbon dioxide in the Martian atmosphere into breathable oxygen and for making liquid oxygen that could be used as rocket fuel to return to Earth. How soon? What is your realistic expectation on when people may be able to actually land on Mars? We're cautiously optimistic that by the end of the 2030s, we may be able to uh, send and get do a round trip mission with astronauts. You know, what I love is all their enthusiasm. These guys uh, love their jobs. But to pick up on his point, that means probably astronauts will not be on Mars for another 20 years at the soonest. First, they need to return to the moon and build operations there. And the acting NASA chief tells me a lunar mission probably will not happen in 2024 as first hoped. Savannah? And, and Tom, I, I caught this little detail. It's, <laughs> some of the engineers are going to work this Mars mission. They're going to switch over to living on Martian time. <laughs> <laughs> Which yeah. raises a question, what is Martian time? <laughs> Yeah, so the Mars day has an extra 40 minutes in it. So if you live on Mars time to make sure that you're awake during the daylight hours so that you're up and watching the rover when it's running, you quickly get jet lagged, right? Add another 40 minutes to your day every single day. Yeah. So they do this for a few months at a time. Many are working at home. Some are going to be at NASA's JPL in Pasadena. They'll have cots in their offices working these 12 and 14 hour shifts wow. and they quickly get out of sorts. And wow. just one follow up. When is cocktail hour on Mars. <laughs> Whenever you want. <laughs> Tom, Tom, thank, thank you very much. How cool oh, is that? That's the coolest. We know Dylan wow. loves it. She's yeah. our science gal. Yeah. I love it. Today Average years temperature old. minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Is that right? Oh. Yes. You think it's a warm planet. It feels like yeah. you know, it's red, it's warm, yeah. but it's actually very, very cold. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.